Welcome everyone to the Moiski News for March the 10th, 2020. Today I would like to continue the Labour leadership discussion from yesterday because of an interview that happened on Good Morning Britain with Lisa Nandy, who is arguably second place in this entire contest. Because during this interview, which then became more of a debate, which then became more of an argument, many people started to question her credentials and credibility when it comes to running the party, potentially being the leader, with some ruling this entire interview a career ender. Now, they did discuss everything from the leadership race to the coronavirus outbreak, with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid putting Lisa Nandy under scrutiny on the ongoing race and also tasked with debating Piers on issues including trans rights along with the corona Ebola. As the interview between Lisa and Pierce boiled over, Pierce Morgan scolded her for refusing to give a straight answer when it came to Labour's stance on gender self-identification, because Pierce has a very obvious view, one I for the most part share, with the conflict not stopping there, because Lisa seemed to ignore the medical advice given by those experts concerning the coronavirus because she turned up to the interview with a cold. We can also add to the mix the fact that there was a heated exchange over the place of trans athletes in sport and the chat on this morning then kind of exploded, with Lisa then calling and demanding Pierce to apologise to viewers by the end of this debate. But for the most part, Good Morning Britain viewers sided with Pierce Morgan, and I to an extent did as well upon watching. I will link it down below for all of you to watch. It is amusing. There's always something quite satisfying about would-be or actual leaders getting utterly flayed because of a very middle-of-the-road non-answer. Allow me to answer the questions for you, by the way, Lisa. When it came to the subject of your leadership race, things are going great. That's all you needed to say. When it came to the coronavirus, you should have made sure the interview was done by satellite link for all the good it would have done you, because you could have at least then said, I didn't want to give everyone else a cold. It's not bad enough people are panicking over the coronavirus, but honestly, nobody wants to get a cold at the best of times. Everyone get that B12 in you. And when it came to trans athletes, because this one's important, I covered this in a video last week on my main channel, and I believed the best way to proceed was to create a separate event for trans athletes. And when it comes to self-gender identification, this one's tricky, because are we talking about those who have gender dysphoria or those who just don't feel? It's very tricky... But for the most part, if you are gender dysphoric, is that even a word? If you have gender dysphoria and are diagnosed with it, you can be safely excluded from the conversation because you have a medical condition. Those who just choose to identify something, that's a bit weirder. And we are not yet as a society ready to just say, yes, you can just say you're a man or say you are a woman and we will respect it. Not quite. The non-binary discussion also isn't relevant here either. I'll be honest... Because Labour's had a position where they are pushing for people to have less intrusive ways of being diagnosed as trans, which I find to be quite amusing, and Lisa supporting it, along with that somewhat bigoted trans demands form she agreed to sign up to. Do you remember that? Yeah. She didn't need to answer the question, but I knew why Piers asked it. He asked it because of the bigoted group that sent it. Yeah. Strange, right? When you watch this interview back, if any of you do, you will notice she really doesn't look good, and this does her no favours. Her best way to proceed now, if she wishes to be taken seriously as a legitimate threat to Keir Starmer, or Sir Keir Starmer, she's going to have to address everything she got flayed for today, because if she plays victim, her career will crumble. And it should be noted, the part that bugged people the most about all of this was the trans-athlete discussion. Piers takes the stance, if you're born biologically into one's sex, you shouldn't be allowed to compete in other sports, or women's sports, or men's sports, depending on the one you were born as. Lisa didn't give a definitive answer, with her answer essentially being, that's why I said to you, we need to set up a commission to properly address this. But that's not going to work, is it? Ah. In truth, Either her or Keir Starmer would be a good option, but this interview does Lisa Nandy no favours. I will tomorrow, to balance this out, find something damning on Keir Starmer. Things have been a bit quiet on his camp. I'll try and see if I can find him embarrassing himself for that. With this, I do want to know what you think, so please do let me know in the comments down below. 